when did you uh, kind of begin to realize that this was something you could really do like for a living? I mean, now, or maybe like when did Olympics kind of enter your mind as like, I could take this thing pretty far. I was, I wouldn't know. I think I was like 23, 24 is when I started feeling world tour ready. Like I was like, okay, I feel like, I feel like I can play with these boys just because of the experience that I've had in the AVP. Um, players like Nick and Phil and Rosie, they were always like push me and, and say, Hey man, you got to contact this guy, the Italian Federation and try to get a hold of him. I think he can do well, and blah, blah, blah. So that caught my attention. And, and yeah, I, I want to say 23, 24, maybe before. I don't know. I never doubted. Like, yeah. once I got good, I never doubted that I could play at that level. I just wanted, yeah. I just needed an opportunity, I guess. Yeah. That's cool that, uh, that Nick, Phil, and Rosie were kind of going to bat for you and saying, like, you can do this. Those are three good guys to have pushing you. I think it was Phil that spoke with uh, Paulão, the Brazilian coach that he's coaching the Grimal Cousins right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Phil uh, took Paulão to the side in one of the tournaments and, and said, hey, dude, there's this kid in the U.S. that has Italian passport. You got to check him out. And that kind of created the contact. Um, and, and so I emailed him or gave him a call. And he said, okay, I need to check you out. And, and he asked me to do a tryout in Long Beach in 2014, whenever the, the world tour was there. Okay. So I met him there and I had this insane freaking tryout, dude. <laughs> I was like shit in my pants. <laughs> I knew about it for a month. I never played with any casa. I was just like oh, staying yeah. in Stafford's. I was staying in Stafford's for that summer because in between tournaments, I was supposed to go back to Florida, but okay, I have this trial, so I'm going to stay in California, whatever. Yeah. And he gave me a date and a time. He said nine, like 10, 10 a.m. Saturday morning. I freaking showed up there with Rafu, you know, Puerto Rican Rafu. <laughs> nice. Love you know? Rafu. He was going to be my set. I was like, bro, I'm going to do a trial. I'm going to get a good setter. I can't have one of these big boys bump setting this freaking yeah. stuff you know <laughs> <laughs> so i show up and, and he's like hey man i got stuff to do uh one of my teams is playing soon so i can't do it let's do it at six in the afternoon i was like fuck dude like i gotta stay here all day like i'm already super nervous man like let's get this done yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and so i'm there like you know how you know how hot long beach was right it was i was there yeah, all day yeah. with this in my mind and then i see him show up with a with a bag of balls and Mateo Barnier and we do this this crazy tryout and it was it was a go after that. What uh That's I'm curious, what is a beach volleyball tryout? Like what do you got what do you do? During Dude, I had no I, I had no idea. All <laughs> I know is that I, I have this yellow blue ball that I never touched in my life. Yeah. And and he was it was crazy the way he spoke to me and how he looked at me. And so I got he's like, okay, get loose, warm up. So I started peppering, you know, like I always do. And he's like, okay. He takes his, his sunglasses off and he goes, okay. And with this Brazilian accent, he goes, <laughs> he, he walks over to the other side of the court and he draws like a square with his, uh, with his foot, kind of by, by my sharp angle. You know, I play yeah. right side, he threw my sharp yeah. angle. He looks at me, he goes, I'm going to serve you four balls. And I want the four balls in that square right there. So he gave me a, a target, you know, and I was like, damn, all right. <laughs> so first pass of the Mikasa, I pass it perfect. He sets me like my little ball in the middle and I just hit it with, I don't know. I was, dude, I was jumping. I never, dude, it was the first time I saw the other side of the court while jumping. <laughs> it was, it was Long Beach sand, but it must've been the adrenaline that dude, I was yeah. seeing, I saw the other side of the, the court, dude. I was like, what? And I hit it so clean and so good. And I was like, boom. The next one, I was like, I'm going to show him a little something else. And I did like the little extra rotation, you know, away yeah. from my body. Boom, right in the, in the square. The other one, I would like side spin, boom, right. I hit like the four in the, in the, in the target. And then I was like, nice. oh, okay, okay. And then he goes, okay. He goes to my line shot, to my line hit. He's, I got to do the same thing back to my line and that's like my favorite ball so i put 
four over there, right in the square. And then he does four hits towards my right that I had to defend and then do four high lines. And there was a, a guy waiting for it. And then I had to do four cut shots defense. And then I had to get up and hit it. Uh. So after that, he, he, he kind of started laughing because I, I did it. I don't want to say anything, but I did it like to perfection. Yeah, it's yeah. like I, I found this focus. Like I knew that was my chance. Like if the guy wants to see you there in Long Beach, it's not like it goes bad and then you're like, oh yeah, we'll talk about it later. No, either leave your impression right there and use that opportunity or just forget about it. Mm -hmm. So he kind of smiled and after 25 minutes, he's like, okay, let's go talk. So after 25 minutes, he already decided, okay, I want you. Let's, I'm going to go back to Italy. I'm going to try to organize everything. And we'll fly you over. And two weeks later, Rangieri was, was like blowing me up on, on Messenger or whatever. That's or awesome. he tried to contact me. It's a good 25 minutes, man. <laughs> yeah. It, it was crazy. The build up to that and then the fact that I was able to perform and, and, and get my opportunity, that was, that was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah.